It worked. Hey everybody, welcome to Sunday Night Dinner again. It's uh, the end of the Sunday. We are getting into it. We're getting ready for the awful case of the Mondays that we'll all have tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> but uh, at least tonight we get to enjoy some good food, hopefully, and, uh, and hang out for a little bit. I am... You're not gonna lie, I am ambitious tonight. There's a lot to get done uh, to get it all to come out in in the next two and a half hours or so, so that we could eat by six thirty or seven. That's what we're looking at. So on tonight's menu, uh, we are starting off with the stuffed cabbage. Uh, gonna do a good beef version of that, and gonna go side with a garlicky roasted uh, whole carrot. And then we are going into dessert, which is going to be a uh, apple gaia, oh, oh, uh, and some other good stuff. Tiki, thank you for the host, sir. Appreciate it. Got the stuffs. Stuffs. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, just in case. Though. Yep, yep. Awesome. Getting the last pieces together. <laughs> you're fine. How's it going tonight, sir? Hope you're doing okay. I'll do those later, don't worry about that. Okay. We're, oh, that's right, you're working Saturday and Sundays. I thought they shut the server down at 5. Are you working till 5? Are you, like, pressing the, uh, burning the midnight oil, if you will? Whew. All right. There's a lot to get done. And I prefer not to have flour all over me, so I will wear the apron. Alright. Let's switch it on over. Let's get into working mode. Let's go to the board. Can you see us? Yeah, there we go. Board cam up and running. Love it. Absolutely love it. Alright, so first things first, we gotta do the dough first. We're gonna get the dough and the apples in for the dessert. Apples need time to soak up all the cinnamon and all the other good stuff. Dough needs time to rest before we press it out. It's going to be crusty, pie-like almost. Uh, but it's going to be a flat, like, uh, we're going Wanda style. We're going to go a hexa on it and uh, let's see how it goes. Ooh. Good luck with that, sir. Good luck. But yeah, so we're going to do the dessert first, and then we have to go, we got water boiling for our cabbage, and we're going to get those going, get them stuffed. They're going to take about, probably about an hour or so to, uh, to soak in this tomato sauce and cook up and be nice and good, and then uh, we'll do the carrots last, they're going to be pretty easy, get those in the oven, and while that's all going, we'll get everything, the uh, dessert and everything going. Uh... Before I start the dough, honestly, I want to do the rice, because I want to do the rice slightly cooked, not all the way cooked. So we're going to get that piece going. Uh, Mike volume's okay as well. I just got, uh, I spent the 50 bucks and got the uh, snowball, so I could uh, hopefully drown out some of the background noise and pick it up a little bit better. So we're doing about a cup of rice. Uh, we're not gonna cook it all the way, so we're not gonna go 18 and 18, but we are gonna go with probably like a 15 minute cook and then a quick, uh, quick drainage. So one cup of rice, I'm gonna wash it up in this. One, two waters, the one rice. Perfect. And we're going to let the rice. 
spice go. I'm gonna buy a little bit of salt in there. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, once that's good to go, all of our stuffing and stuff probably good by then. So, let's get our dough going. How's everybody doing out there? How's the Sunday night treating you? Everybody's just joining in. Hope you're doing okay. Tonight's menu is uh, stuffed cabbage with uh, garlic roasted carrots as a side and then uh, apple gaiettes for dessert. So we're, we're being ambitious. We've got a lot to go. We're starting with the dough first because it needs time to sit. And then we're going to get our apples done as well. So they are good to go. Where is our, there's our guy. So, for our flour, we're going to need one and a half cups, quarter cup sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, half cup of cubed cold butter, and then a quarter cup of ice cold water. So we should be fine with that. So one and a half cups on that guy. We're going to do it the right way. We're going to use right over here. In their guidelines. Got that about one and a half. Let's get our flour out of here. This is gonna be the hard part is trying to maintain clean as we go through our quarter cup sugar and our other good stuff. Butters. You're good. No issues. We're just trying to get our dough and everything set while everything else is going. And there's our salt. Basic kosher salt. Uh, sugars. that bowl back because then we're going to make the stuffing for the stuffed cabbages in there. We have a busy evening planned here. This is going to take some work. <laughs> Cube it. There we go. And hopefully we can work these in well enough with a fork. I do not have a dough blade or a Use pastry. Your hands. Hmm? Use your hands. Well, I say to use a fork because we don't want it all the way worked. You only want it semi worked. We're going to stick pretty close to the recipe as we haven't done anything like this in quite a while. <laughs> Put that away. Thank you. All right. Let's get it worked in. Get a good fork rolling. Oh yeah, there we go. And then we'll move to the surface, get this cutting board clean. The mic is okay. Can you do me a favor? Can you check it? Uh, yeah. All right. Now we're going to work it in my hand. You 
want it to be smaller pebble sizes than this. Basically, we're working it into that flour to really get it in there before we get the water and get it all stirred up. This is where the blade would come in extra handy, but I don't have one. So that's the way she goes. Good? Yep. Thank you. I appreciate your chicken. All right. Yeah, so now we got that nice light yellow color. Pretty well mixed in. Haven't melted it though, so it's not loopy or sticky as of yet. And then now we're going to add that water in and get that going. Excuse me. Quarter cup of cold water. Let a little bit to finish up. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nope, crap. That's why we got to go in the wrong one. Swap out. We got our rice going. Put it on the wrong burner. For the usual. Off to a great start. <laughs> Alright, cool. That looks pretty good actually. Get that out of here. A flour from earlier. Seems pretty good. And now we're gonna squash it, but I do it a certain way. Stick around the nose so I can get hold of this. Using the cling wrap. Cling wrap this down. Right there. One more on top. And we're gonna flatten it out. Nice round disc. We're gonna mess with this later. This is just for that dough for now. Uh, so we're gonna put this in the fridge. Let it sit for about an hour at least, minimum. And then we should be good. So let's get this on a plate. And we let it do its own work. And our music stop. Looks like our music stopped. Oh, there it goes. Okay. We're just switching song, that's all. Hope we're doing alright. Let me see if we can give you the tri cam here. There we go. Rice is on the stove. Thank you. 
Our board is good. We're going to have to get our board washed up here in just a moment as well. But we're going to do the apples first. Bring this guy over here. So we're going to use three apples for it. We're going to do them up in cinnamon, sugar, a little bit of nutmeg, and the whole deal. So, wash these earlier. We should be good. Now instead of coin them, we're going to see if I can do this just right. There we go. No corn there. No corn there. Yeah. That turned out alright. So now we can get those nice crisp thin slices on it. Sharpen this knife earlier, sounded good. Don't need that guy. Not clear enough. Use that on the bottom. Oh, I'll eat those. Where'd they go on the bottom? Again, I cut up these guys, little guys off, we'll put those on the bottom to help fill it in. I'm not sure we're going to get three into this. We'll see though. Recipe calls for three. Easy corn. Two Granny Smiths and then a Honey Crisp. A little bit of tart with a Granny Smith, Honey Crisp, just to kind of write it out. Basically, it should cover though the good size of the baking sheet, and then and then some. It's a little warm in here already. All right, so these guys are for the bottom those in there as well. Check those out in a minute. I'm probably only going to use about half of this, honestly. I think that's going to be more than enough for what I want to do with it, for the size that we're doing. So again, there's no immediate right or wrong answers. You just kind of have to play it, figure out what you're working with. Good. Good assortment of that. I'm sure someone will eat that later. It will not go to waste. For sure. <laughs> Whew. All right. Those away for me, please. Thank you. So with these guys, we want to get them up into our sauce. Oh. Huh? Start. Yeah. So we're gonna use a quarter cup of brown sugar. Um. Two teaspoons of lemon juice just kind of help with the apples a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of the nutmeg so let's use our lemon juice on this guy let's use a quarter teaspoon of the nutmeg We'll get those all mixed up nice and good anyway. Teaspoon of cinnamon. 
This is probably where the Saigon cinnamon would come in really well at this point. But I don't have any. Our sugars, where's our brown sugar? It's a quarter cup of that guy. Rice is going perfectly cool. And then their egg wash is last. A little bit of flour in this guy, nothing crazy. Just to kind of help solidify it. That's all it's really doing. There we go. Yep, and we gotta get this into our fridge. Let's get it mixed up though. So again, we want these in the fridge. We want to give them time to get coated, get good. They are going to bake for about an hour with this guy, so I'm not sure if we'll see them at the end of stream or not. We'll play it by ear. See how she goes. Okay, let's get in there with our hands. Let's get it nice and getting dirty. And make sure all the leaves get moved. See we go. Well, all the apple covered really well. Mm, we lost some to the floor. That's the way it goes. Okay, pretty happy with that. Cover it up. Whew. Good guy now, man. My skills are not there. So our dough and our apples are good. Our rice is cooking, which is awesome. We are on track. What do we have? Yeah, we're good. We are on track. Like I said, we are getting ambitious, so it's a lot to get done in about a two and a half hour time frame. Uh, but I think we got it. We got this. No biggie. Let's get this board and stuff washed off so we can get ready to do our other good stuff. We need to get our Hope everybody's enjoying their Sunday night. Appreciate you guys hanging out. This is about the third week I've been doing this. Uh, I've actually enjoyed it quite a lot. It's been a lot of fun. It's been pretty creative. There's a lot of prep work that goes into it. So it's nice to have. Plus, I enjoyed the cooking aspect of it. It's been pretty fun. It's nice to share that piece. Especially since we've all been stuck inside and we're all so far away. <laughs> Am I a simp? No simp there, bruh. Cooking is the way she goes. Alright. So, our race is going. Actually, we got about three minutes on that. I'm going to turn that off right about there. We need to get our cabbage sweetly done up. And we'll move on. So with the cabbage, what we're going to do, we're going to decor it real quick. And then we're going to put it into, we got some boiling water. We're going to get it turned up just a little bit. Just been down low. But basically, we're going to let the cabbage do the work. Once it's open like that, these leaves should start peeling off. We're going to put a couple on the bottom of this pot so that we can cook it in it. And then the rest of them are what we're gonna to use to actually wrap it up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Brum Brum. Asking why you're staring. Um. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get this cord up. Try and get through that veiny part. That stuff's no good. Can't get through any of that. So you want to kind of cut at that angle, away, not towards. There you go. You see quite a bit of that on and out. No cooking aids, yeah. No cooking aids. It's good. We're, uh, there's 27 days ago, not that anybody's counting. <laughs> but uh, it's been a good, nice 
clearing of the head, I'll say. It's been a long shut in and it's uh, not always productive. All right. Nice and cored out. There we go. Thank you. So now that we're cored out, we're good. I'm going to get this guy in. Should take it just a couple minutes. Uh, see what she looks like. Keep an eye on it. Our rice is good. I want to get that off. Move around. We're actually going to need that guy next. We're going to have to do up these onions. So let's get the onion going. And the onion we're going to dice up pretty well, uh, but we are going to use most of it in the mix and then some of it actually in the sauce because we're going to do a sauce up as well, a good uh, tomatoey sauce for it. Now I'm not going to go quite as I did last week. Uh, we're not going fresh tomatoes. That's even more work on top of what I got going here anyway. But uh, So we are using the canned for now. Not as good. If you have more time, then definitely. Or you could even do the sauce ahead of time. Uh, but I had not thought to do that. Staying. Dicing skills are slowly getting better. Not the greatest, but... Stuffed in with those cabbages. one. I'm going to do a beef stock next. So we got some of our prime rib bones from roasting. A couple different T-bone steak bones. And some trimmings. So that should be good. Let's get our garlic going. Uh, we're going to do probably about 10 uh, cloves of garlic. There's going to be quite a bit of garlic. It is not the good garlic. It's just your uh, run-of-the-mill standard grocery store garlic. Nothing crazy. Usually we go with the uh, Georgian fire, but uh, right now we're out of season. And I ran out. Everything I had, the last couple bulbs I had, went moldy from the uh, multiple pounds we got. Hey, Picosan Princess, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing all right tonight. Thanks for coming and hanging out. We've already done our uh, our pastry crust, and our apples are diced up and in the fridge. We have got our rice on and our cabbage is in. I need to actually check that. Can you pull the lid off this guy over here? Carefully, careful. This is going to be super steamy. This one? Nope, the big guy in the back. It's turning green and that first one's peeling. So we'll get that in just a second. Put it back. Huh. Ah, oh, they just no. So you guys did your Sunday dinner. Always nice. Yeah, we need to get that guy out of there. Can you continue to peel this garlic for me here real quick? Okay. Let me get these out of the way. Hot. So we want something to help peel it back because we want to keep the leaves intact. This 
So that's what we're going to be using to stuff them. Smells delicious. I like smell of cabbage. in just a minute. So a I do have a helper today. We got ambitious. So, uh, helping was the only way that this was going to work. <laughs> so, uh... Can't tell this is not peeled. Do what? This is not peeled. You got it? Yes. Need help? No, I, I got it. Alright. This is going to be our guy when we get set up here shortly. on and save half of the garlic. trying to get about 10 of these or so off. Maybe about 10 or so in the size. Garlic's peeled. Garlic's all peeled, thank you. Alright, our cabbage needs a little longer. Alright, get those last couple guys out. Alright. Like I said, our onions are going. That's going to be going into our sauce, which is going to be back here. And then our garlic is going to be going in there as well. So let's get that done up. So it's about five cloves of garlic in the sauce and then about five in the actual cabbage itself. Actually, we're gonna do uh, about five in the cabbage, probably three in the sauce, and then I use two in the sauce. And I need the other for the uh, carrots. Forgot about the carrots. Gotcha, sir. Appreciate you. Alright, so that's good. Gotta get that white balance figured out on the uh, stove. It just comes in as awful because of the kitchen light. It drowns it out. Okay. Just a rough chop, doesn't have to be anything crazy. Alright, our garlic is good. Check this guy. Get the rest of it off of there by now. Cabbages on it, so 
get them out of the way. Getting our onions sauteed up and softened up. We want to get them translucent. Is the, uh, if you can hear me out there, is the microphone okay? I know the kitchen noises are kind of loud. Music's a little soft. I got gotcha. you. Turn her up. Turn it up just a tad bit. There we go. Appreciate you, sir. That's perfect. Thank you. I'm moving out a little bit. Turn them down a little bit. We don't want them overly done. Turn a little more oil. Probably could have used two tablespoons. So, turn the cabbage guy off, because all we're going to need left is what's going to go into this guy. And what's left to go into that guy, what we're putting on the bottom is just the, the non-wrapped ones. Love the music, awesome. It is the uh, free uh, jazz playlist, that way I don't get copyrighted. I have a big issue with that on Twitch. But I enjoy jazz, it's nice and easy. I figured it would be a lighter way to go. There we go. are good. We need to get our tomatoes going. It's good right there. Maybe for there for now. You sure? It's not going to fall? It's not going to fall. It's good. Let me get at it. Let's get our sauce done up here real quick though. They're trying to use the food processor more, so I'm going to use one can of sauce, one can of diced tomatoes. stuff. We're good with that. I'll put that little bit of garlic in there. And we'll call that a day. Get that sauce going. We're good there. That's right. We're going to get our sauce in there, so we're good on that. kitchen today than it has been. Yeah. Maybe we get more burner on. Probably. We haven't even got the stove going yet, which we need to do. Alright. I'm going to give our sauce a little time to come together. Trying to clean as we go. Alright, so now we need to get our stuffing going. We've got our rice that we did. That can actually come off now. Is that good? Mm -hmm. And we only need about a cup or so of it. Cooked. It should be about good. A little more in there. If somebody wants to eat it, they can. Peel up. 
that rice later. Lots of garlic in there. I love the garlic. I think everybody does. Get our last bit of onions. Rocking and rolling now. So much going on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. For the dishes, I appreciate that. Let's get our stuffing done up pretty good. Alright. So we're going to use about a tablespoon of uh, Worcestershire. A little bit of thyme. There we go. And then we're just gonna get it dirty. Play it by hand. This is why you wash your hands. I'm not trying to crush it, I want it to be nice and crumbly on the inside. Might actually need a little more rice in this. I'm just trying to break up the uh, the beef, but not completely pulverize it. Yeah, use a little more of this rice. I do have a helper with this week, Sarah. I took on, uh, I think, a little more that I could chew at this point. So, we called in the reinforcements. <laughs> How you doing tonight? Hope you're doing alright. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. But ours was a lazy Sunday. Did a few things here and there. The boys had karate camps, but uh, I just kind of did nothing. So I was preparing for this. Sarah says, hey, Laura. Uh, hello. <laughs> All right, so we got a nice meat mixture there. Yeah, it's hard to see on the on that cam. This is gonna be perfect for it though. So, Whew. okay, our sauce is going good, it's bubbling up. Basically, we're gonna cook it inside of that ramen and matcha. Nice. I did a quick homemade ramen yesterday for dinner. Turned out pretty good. So we're gonna take our uh, our cabbage leaf here. You've got this big, hard, long vein in there that really doesn't wanna do much with anything. So what you wanna do is that triangular cut to kinda of help bring it down. And you get that piece out, almost like a V shape. So that way we'll tuck them in as we're gonna go along. So, this is some cooking on the stuff. Right. <laughs> so we're cooking them in. Probably about a quarter cup or so of uh, cabbage. Just roll it up. And that's one. So we're going to do about ten or so of those. Maybe a little bit more. Depending. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? Now we do want to try and keep them in there so we don't want to overstuff them. Or do you want to try and keep the fold on the bottom? Oh yeah. Decided I haven't had these in so long. Can't even tell you the last time I had stuffed cabbage.
Probably because of the amount of work that goes into it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I can't remember. I was watching Martha, and she was talking about it from the Polish side, and they called it something else. It was the same thing, like bopki or something like that. Basically, it was stuffed cabbage. Can. Uh, we'll basically just cook it from there. These are going to be most of our rolls at this point. You can eat a piece of it if you want there, Charlie Bucket. Again, it's going in raw. Uh, our rice is slightly cooked. I undercooked it because it's going to have time to cook because they're going to go on for about an hour when they go into this sauce. Which is, we still got the carrots to go, and then we gotta roll out our pastry, which we put in about, what time did we put that in? Probably about 4.15, 4.20 or so, we got it into the fridge. <laughs> uh, we did blanch the cabbage, it helped uh, with peeling the leaves, it was a whole lot easier. Can I have a leaf? Can you give me a long one? I'm gonna patch it. Give us a patch job. Little one's good. Perfect. And if you gotta patch them up, you gotta patch them up. So be it. This is good. It's good. Just salt, pepper, and curry. <laughs> Crash landing, Tomamite. How you doing, sir? Hope you're enjoying your Sunday nights. That's what we're hoping. We are hoping for that. Tucking these guys in as we're going. All right. Well, the sauce is smelling great. We're probably going to have to turn that down. Can you stir that sauce up for me, please? Uh, yeah, sure. I would appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Look okay. at that going. Uh, we'll see. It's a good one. I almost accidentally grabbed the metal spoon. That would not have been good. No. Ouchie. You alright? Yeah, Splash zone. Yeah. Splash zone! I have before, it's been a very long time. Can you get me another slice of that? This one? Yep. Yep. It's just been a very long time. Here's an extra one too. This Thank is. you. Nope. That'd be perfect. I think that's gonna be just about enough. It's fine I'm eating this thing, right? The hard part. Yeah, it's just okay. cabbage. I didn't like know, it's poisonous. I keep cutting it out and I don't know if I'm supposed to eat it or not. Well, usually it's just harder. It's not all the way cooked. Typically, that's why it's not eaten like that. Yeah, so not bad. We got these pretty rolled up pretty quickly. And we want to get these. These are going to go for about an hour. So these should come out about six-ish. I was gonna say that's probably when they're gonna come out. So let's get. Woo! Back up. Berg! Let's get our sauce stirred. Alright, let's get them in. Woo! Popping. It's popping yeah, fresh. Flash me. Hurt. Yeah. Agreed. I got her going a little too hot, but that's all right. I'll get them all in there. Let's get them all covered in the sauce. Might need a little more sauce on top. Let's do a little more sauce. 
Uh, here we got me a can of those tomatoes out of there. Guys? Perfect. Thank you. Covered. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. That's what we're hoping. Oh, whew. Fibrous. <laughs> Faux show. All right. So they are on. Let's get this guy out of here. Let's get our area cleaned up. Then we're going to get to our carrots. And then we'll get back to our apple dessert. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm going to take about a two minute break. I'm going to use the restroom real quick, get cleaned up, and uh, we'll get back into this. So don't go anywhere, hang out. Dun, 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 dun. T Gamer coming on. I'm good on this one for now. We're good. Yeah. All right. Um, do a little more cleanup, and then we gotta start those carrots. So carrots are gonna go in. Handle that here. We're empty. Three seventy-five. Uh, they're gonna need about forty-five minutes or so. I'm gonna do them up in olive oil. Balsamic vinegar, some garlic, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Are you just eating the rice? Yeah, helping has benefits. We're not gonna be eating food. <laughs> it's only because I wanted to do rice so well. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking rice is an art for sure. If you don't know how to do it, definitely learn how to do it. I guess we don't really need to try, do we? Still the stove. Roll it over. Ba bow. I'm getting better at this. I like this whole uh, streaming aspect of it. I'm getting pretty good with uh, switching scenes and trying to keep it going. I invested, I spent 50 bucks. I got a blue snowball microphone, a little USB one to get a better sound because before it was using my phone. I mean, the phone works great for the video, which is what I'm using here. 
Um, but the microphone was just not ideal. So for 50 bucks, this one is working pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, can we get the cutting board washed off? Yeah. Thank you. Right and then we'll get those carrots going. Our oven is going. So we're gonna basically, uh, nope. Can you guys hear me? Oh, make sure it's unmuted. We're unmuted, right? You can never tell if it's unmuted. Well, I hit the mute button, so I wanna make sure I came out of it. Cool, cool, thanks, sir, appreciate it. All right, we're gonna bring those down a little bit. find out in an hour or so. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. You can give me a wet paper towel. Wet? And damp one. Yeah, pretty damp. Put it underneath the cutting board. It doesn't slide anyway. That's the trick with that guy. Thank you. What's up, bro? What's up, uh, thing on dinner? Like an hour? Like an hour, hour and a half. Who's that? Uh, mine, you can have the rest. So I want two more bites, and you can have the rest of it. <laughs> Alright, so we've got about uh, seven or so carrots, fresh. Uh, Try not to go with the uh, baby carrots, they're just too sweet. Um, and it doesn't have to be an organic or whatever else. Uh, washed it down pretty good. We are going to leave... The ends on these guys, the far ends, but we're gonna take these ends off. Oh, wrong knife. Where's my good knife? Uh, I got it. Good enough. The carrots are uh, all naturally fed, you know? They're grass fed. I don't know if they're dairy free. I mean, they probably use cow poop, so I guess technically that's not dairy free, right? Well, no. Do we need a vegan ruling on that? What? No, because it's what's used in fertilizer so to saying. grow most vegetables. Thank All you. All vegetables. Uh, so we're gonna try and do like a longer strip because we don't want the whole carrot. We do want to speed up the process a little. Blender, three cuts there. I'm pretty happy with that. We'll go with it. Hope everybody's uh, Sunday's treating them okay. Trying our bacon mat out. Hopefully that turns out okay. Again, just so the, the uh, carrot doesn't have to go all the way through. Otherwise, you're looking at a really long roast time. We we'll want to get them crispy. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. So we're going to do them in olive oil. Salt. 
pepper. We got garlic. Just when you thought you had enough garlic chopped, you didn't. Oh, it's one of those mini bulbs. This is the worst. Alright. Oven's going. Cabbage is on. Just about done with these, and then we gotta get back on that apple dessert. garlic is not peeling as well as it did last week. Music's still going. Cool, cool, cool. Whew. This will be the third week we've been doing this. It's been exciting. To say the least. I look forward to it during the week now. I look forward to what I'm going to plan to cook and try new stuff out. Look through different cookbooks, looking through different stuff, trying to plan. This has been a nice hobby and I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and coming along and letting me showcase it. Big garlicky carrots without garlic. Smells good. There we go. I'm gonna sprinkle it out. Yeah, nice and good. Get this guy out of here for now. And last but not least, a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Nothing crazy. Just to help brown it up a little bit. There we go. All right, so these guys are gonna go about 35 to 40 minutes or so, which is good because our cabbage has been in for what? Maybe 10 minutes or so. Oh, perfect. And our stove is just heated up. So about six or so, the carrots should be good. We'll check on those and then we'll check the cabbages at six to see how it goes from there. Whew. So we're in a good shape. We're in good shape. Oh, man. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was expecting that to be... Whew, excuse me. A little more rough than that. <laughs> Put that away. Thank you. That happens. Get a drink of water. So I got a little dirty and stuff. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope you're doing okay. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. Stuffed cabbage for us is a new. Can you double check whether the mic's working? Yeah. Thank you. Just a check. Oh, let me rearrange this while I have a moment. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Let's get 
time to clean this up a little bit. You're all good. All good? All good. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. Okay, our board is good for now. We'll come back and clean that. Our cabbage is done. Are you wanting this? Do whatever you want. Just throw it away with it. Whatever's left. Uh, I, mean, I can do a cabbage soup or something with it, but at the moment I haven't planned for it. So, off she goes. Get our cabbage water out of there. Alright. Not bad. So we cleaned up basically as we went. There's not a whole lot left to do at the end. Let me get this stuff down. Okay, so all now we're going to need to do is roll out that dough and get that guy up to the one. Yeah, I needed to do it at the beginning because it needed to sit for an hour anyway. I'm trying to figure out the timing. Timing is never easy to figure out. Arr. Get that guy out of here. Alright. Actually, we're not going to need the cutting board. We need a clean surface. Or. Rolling extravaganza. So we got. Oh, let me check the cook time on this guy. It's uh, minutes. Like 38 minutes? 35, 40 minutes, yeah. 10 minutes is cool. Yeah, about 40 minutes. The carrots are in now, they're going to need about the same amount of time, and then when the carrots are out, that'll go in. So not bad, and I think the stuffed cabbage, they said like an hour to an hour and a half. Now for those, I am, I kind of used <laughs> <laughs> the Taste of Home Classic Cabbage Rolls. Uh, I used those as a guide, basically. Changed up a few things. For the garlic roasted carrots, we went damn delicious. Uh, it's damndelicious.net. And we stole the gaeta from Sally's Baking Addiction. Make sure to give proper credit to them. When I say stolen, this is who I'm using. So using those as a go-by. Uh, we didn't do her salted caramel sauce, but we did a caramel done with sweetened condensed milk that we... See the video is off. It's weird, or when right? you go to the uh, other screen. Ah, uh, okay. It it just see look. Gotcha. It's, it's good. But we did the sweetened condensed milk, and I bit it in the Instapot uh, with a full of water at a high pressure for like thirty minutes, and it comes out being this nice. Let's see if I can give a. I'll give you one to see. Nice caramel sauce. So this is what's going to line some of the bottom of our apple galleta. Our apples are going to go on, and then we'll use this at the end for a little bit of drizzle as well. But that's just basically a can of sweetened condensed milk. That's all I did. Got <laughs> a really, really nice caramel on it. Um, I guess it's very popular uh, uh, with Mexicans and the Latin community. community in that area, right? I guess is uh, that's where I learned it from. It was on a YouTube with them. Uh, I can't remember the lady's name. I'll have to look it up. But I thought it was pretty good. How is our dough doing? Oh yeah, we're doing okay. We got a little bit of time. Let's do a little bit of cleanup here. Let me put that in there, please. Oh no! Try and do clean up as we go. Makes life a little bit easier. And that way, it's not all stuck at the end. So hungry now, it smells so good. <laughs> I, I eat cabbage. Well, I did not eat cabbage. I will eat cabbage though soon. Save it. 
Save it for the real thing. Saving it for the real. Let's give a let's get a good check on it. Let's go in on our main shot on the stove. Our pie in the sky. So we can get a Oh, that doesn't help at all. See, it's... There you go. Mm. Smells so good. Nice simmer. Nothing crazy. Well, it's just cooking inside of there, so it's going to get some of that tomatoey kind of flavor, but not all the way seeped in. See, this is the overhead light. It's so bright, like right here. I need like a... <laughs> the other ring lights, what we could do is, because we have two other ring lights, we can set those up as your actual lights instead of the overhead. What are the ring lights? Uh, the big ones, the tall ones. Oh, the tripod lights? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of back here, and then one over there. And actually, instead of having to turn on the overhead, you can just have those two. Or yeah. just even one. We'd have to try something like that to see how it goes. Let's go back. It's us again. No. How's everybody's Sunday going? Y'all getting into anything? Anybody cooking anything? I believe I saw Sarah cooking yet another cat or another uh, cake. <laughs> another cakey. Oh my god, they're so loud. Why are you so loud? Let's see. I have a test on Tuesday. Yeah, that doesn't have anything to do with it. I understand. Alright, let's get started on this uh, dough boy. Me and I want my help with that. I think Very I got good. this one. Alright. Thank good. you, though. I appreciate your help. Yep. Little helper. I'm gonna go clean the Thanks, little chef. So we got our nice clean work surface. I'm gonna get it rolled out a little bit. Let's get our spoon out. Sure we're doing this right making the crust come together as the dough chill or so do it on a slightly flowered surface to a 12 inch circle all right so we got to go to about a 12 inch so what i'm showing you how big that would actually make this let's fold it over get our guy out What do we got on That's this one? That's smart. I should have done that when me and Laura were making the cinnamon rolls. That would have been a bunch easier. <laughs> Doesn't always work that way though, bud. Doesn't always work that way. Switch back over. Can't see the switch. Yep. Not the greatest when it comes to pastry. Not always my strong suit. I feel like that's too big. Yeah, it's way too big. I roll my hand. We're just gonna roll it by hand. Not a fan of this guy. I gave it a shot. Didn't work out so well. Not a fan. Restart. Yep. That's the nice part about dough. 
Well, usually you get a restart, though. <laughs> usually, on, like, actual cooks, you mess up. That's gonna affect the dish a bunch. Yep. You have to restart the entire thing. There we go. There we go. Uh, apple gayat. It's basically like this pie crusted kind of open apple tart with a caramel sauce on it. We'll do it a little sticky. That's all right. We'll work those edges. There we go. Work them edges. Yep, yep. And we gotta get that guy transferred. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We got a lot of work to do. Uh, I need to open the dishwasher for me, bud. Hi. Right. Give me that bacon sheet there. This one? Yep. Hi. Right. That's perfect. Thank you. There we go. A little bit of butter on there. I'm transfer it over. Yeah. Perfect. I know I've used it on the carrots. Um, that's why I didn't use it on this one. I should have used it on this one. I probably would have been the better one to use it on. Let's get our other stuff going. All right. So like I said, we're gonna use a little bit of this caramel on the bottom here. And then we're gonna get our apples going, and then later on we'll use that uh, to drench it in the sauce. Ooh, homemade caramel. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah. 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 All right, so yeah, we have way more than enough apple for this guy. But we got a good assortment of apples as well. Dang, that is a lot of apples. All right. They smell freaking delicious. Love apples. Apples they and do. cinnamon. They do smell really good. All right. Super good. All right. There we go. Woo! Ooh. Hear that popping, bubbling. Yeah. That looks. Did this thing so we can turn our cabbage down a little bit. She's going. She is rolling. Oh my god. And our caramel sauce. Get a little little taste. Yes, they're doing them on the on, on the stove. They just let them go in the sauce. How's the caramel taste? Amazing. You wanna try a little bit? Yeah. It does taste really good. Mm hmm I told you. <laughs> Usually I don't like store-bought caramel, but homemade caramel. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly different. Yep. But yep. That's the, the way that we're doing it. Because it's still like a braise. It's still something very, very similar. So. I'm going to get an egg wash on these guys real quick. I think I might actually be able to get it in with the carrots and have them come out at the same time or close to. I think that's what we're going to do. Really? 
Let me get a little egg wash around the edges, kind of get them browned up a little bit. Uh, kind of. I basically, all I did was take a can of sweetened condensed milk, put it in the Instapot for about 35 minutes on high pressure, and then let it naturally come off. And then at the end of it, uh, cooled off, and now it was pretty well good. Like it's like a caramel con leche. It's basically uh, a really easy way to do it. I don't know why we haven't been doing it before. Uh, it's a very, uh, from what I understand, a Mexican way to do it. Yeah, I'll send you the recipe on that one. It's pretty good. So yeah, so there's a nice little light egg wash, nothing crazy. Just to the point where it kind of turns yellow. Huh? And there we are. We've got our dessert basically done up good to go. Nice. Yep. Yeah. And now, so let's get her in. Carrots are looking good. Oh. Tart is in as well. We'll look out of here. Yeah, so we probably could have got away with two apples. Um, that's what's left over, and they're still good. Oh, but it's a little more cinnamon than what you're used to. Definitely more cinnamon, <laughs> but good. We'll save those for later. Clean. I've been pretty good about this. Trying to keep a clean work area. Stick a gander on over. Um, I like the Saigon, like what you say. I think it has a better flavor. Uh, this one was just a very basic, I didn't have any. So we went with just a, a basic cinnamon. I guess it all depends though. I need to do more research into my cinnamon. I'm not usually a baker. I can do the quick stuff, but I'm not usually the uh, that guy. Usually that's Laura in our household. Or you. you. Used to be in our household. And me sometimes. Okay. I mean, I do help her. You do help. You're getting there. Let's see if we can get a... Oh, that. I don't, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it looks good. Oh, uh, you're talking about that. That's what they're saying. Oh, you're the baker. And you're not really the mom. Not usually the baker. I'm the candlestick maker. <laughs> it does look bomb, right? But I. Uh, I've mistimed it yet again, so now I'm left with downtime in between things in the stove, or in the oven, and then uh, cleaning up time. But the, the dough had to be done first. They wanted to chill with that buttery kind of uh, a taste to it, so that's supposed to be really good. So the dough was good first. I think that was alright. Cabbage came out pretty well. So we'll see what it looks like once we uh, actually get to get our mitts on it. And the carrots, I mean, they're roasted carrots. They're usually always good. I love carrots. Let me bring up our cutting board. Cams. I'm super happy with this microphone, too. This has been fantastic to have. Earlier when I was uh, hopped in, it sounded perfect. It sounded perfect? Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff.
Yeah, Mexican vanilla, I have heard about that as well. I mean, that's where I get most of ours, is they have the a real random aisle that's like a... It's supposed to be Latin, but it's also like Asian and whatever else at the Ralph's. And that's usually where the good spices are that are not a million dollars in the same thing. So like our bay leaves and they got like whole cinnamon sticks, um, their saffron and everything else is usually way cheaper. I think Corage and I, I can't even say that. Comet cinnamon, Scion, Ceylon, a true cinnamon. Roasted Saigon, okay. See, so yeah, I haven't ventured out yet enough. That's all right, because we got time. Core, core, e, core, G, core, G. Okay, I got you. This is why we're gonna do Sundays. I'll have plenty of time to learn all this stuff. So we got a long way to go. But this has definitely been fun. I appreciate everybody that's been hanging out on Sundays, even just dropping in, saying hello, hanging out for a couple minutes. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. For me, it's a, it's a fun creative piece. I enjoy the cooking, naturally. Um, but the streaming is also just a cool little side part. It's a tech thing. It's a hobby for me. So I enjoy it. I am trying to get to affiliate status. Uh, it would be nice to be to earn that credit. So I am working on that. I am going to stream a couple games this week as well. I think I'm going to play uh, the Miles Morales Spider-Man. I think I'm going to restart that and play the whole thing through for stream. I've been enjoying that. That's been super fun. And now that i got the hang of the combat system, uh, PS5 is not messing around when it comes to that. I am a PC guy, but that Spider-Man game is not playing around. And since I can't get my hand mitts on a RTX card of any sort, not for anything under $1,000, uh, I'll play by PS5. You should stream one, of the P one day a PSVR game. PSVR game. We could do a PSVR game as well. Mm. We could do Job Simulator. That's a fun oh, yeah. one. We, we forgot about Vacation Simulator. <laughs> there is Vacation Simulator as well. Because we, we've already beaten Job Simulator. Right. We could do that. I could capture what was on the... Uh... We might have to mess around with that. Dang. We might do that. Maybe we'll do that next Saturday or something. We'll mess around set it up and see if we can stream some PSVR. Make sure that we can capture what's on the TV and stuff. We might be able to do that, though. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Man, these cabbages are smelling good. Mm, they right? are. That's what I'm saying, bro. You're gonna That's taste even saying. better. Let's take a look at our carrots. Carrots are looking nice and roasted. Mm. Yep. Can't really see the apple tart. That's all right. We didn't want it to be up above anyway. It's going to have time to go because the carrots are going to come out. They're probably hopefully going to come out about the same time. That's what we're shooting for. And we've got our cabbages on a simmer at this point. That sauce should be nice and cooked. Yeah. This is going to be good. Tasty farts. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, cabbage is one of those things, but it's totally worth it. See, cabbage is going to be big coming up because we got uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up as well. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do some corned beef and cabbage. We we'll definitely have to do that. Uh, unfortunately, no Guinness because um, I am on Lint. I will cook it in Guinness, though. Uh, season the sauce slightly. A little bit of garlic. Um... Some onion, sautéed onion in there, salt and pepper, a little bit of thyme, uh, nothing too crazy. Just letting the tomatoes do the work. I did use a can of tomato sauce and then two cans of actual tomatoes, though, uh, to make up the sauce. So, St. Patty's Day, that's what I'm saying. Corned beef and cabbage with some potatoes and other stuff. I'll definitely do one of those. I mean, is it wrong? Is it no different? Just because they hop around. I mean, you know, I'd try it. If it's a thing, I'd try it. I'd try it at this point any meat. You would? 
Yeah. Have you tried kangaroo meat? Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that would be a little strange. That's a little bit of uh, knowing too much of how the sausage is made. Rattlesnake meat. Get all the venom out, sure. Well, yeah, that's what they do. Now, from what I understand, snake is uh, greasy and gristly. Ooh. Penguin meat. Ooh. Oh. That'd be another one. That I think that would be a lot of, like, fat. Yeah. Be kind of chewy. I'm not sure what kind of actual meat would be there. It's a tough one. Same with polar bear. <laughs> yeah, not polar much, bear would be tough. Not much meat and a lot of Ooh, fat. There we go. Protecting the only cracking. meat that's there. Oof. That's what I was saying, like a very fatty chicken, like a thigh almost. It'd have to go for like a really long time, like low and slow. Uh, if you're going to do a fatty bird like that. Like duck is that kind of way too, though. I wouldn't mind doing duck. Just, duck just takes a little bit longer. But it is on my uh, ideas list, how to figure out how to get duck in. Maybe a duck confit or a uh, orange, or orange duck, duck orange or whatever. Mm, right. Mm, that's right. I do want to do some uh, lamb chops as well. Lamb chops. Lamb chops. Laura is not gonna eat that. Let's tell her they're pork chops. Yeah. What's the difference? Just with old sheep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's gonna smell like bacon. It's gonna smell really good. You're going to be crying, but also smelling something good. It's going to be weird. <laughs> That's going to be a unique situation. Yeah. <laughs> like onions, if you cook them the wrong way, they kind of smell good. But then you're still crying. That's only when you cut them. That's the gas from when you cut onions. That's why you cry. But if you keep the onions close and your blade is sharp, it doesn't release that gas, so you don't cry. Hmm. Sharper knife is better for doing onions. Knife. The more you know. Boom, boom, boom. You cut it with a dull Sulfuric knife? acid, see? In your eyeballs. That's what Auntie huh. Sarah says. <laughs> yeah, we got about 20 minutes or so on, uh, at least on those carrots. And probably another, oh yeah, I mean, we can get... Probably about 20 minutes on those, uh, on that tart as well. But we should be good. I was excited. Rest of the week. Uh, we got school this week for these guys. Yep. And then I've got work as well. Not working overtime though, so thankful for, uh, thankful for overtime, but thankful to have a week off without it. Work them normal hours. Oh, yeah, I forgot I still got the, um, uh, okay, pictures uh, and sips. Right. We do. Only on the weekdays, though, remember? I know. Next Sunday's menu. That's a tough one. Uh, anybody watching, if you have ideas on Sunday dinners, let me know. We're looking for two to three hours, um, for full prep time and everything else. And I've got, I mean, I've got quite a few ideas. Like I said, I want to do duck at some point. Uh, so, so far, what have we done? We've done the chicken thigh with the chicken and dumplings. We did the ground beef and pork and the braised meatballs. We've done a stuffed cabbage now. Uh, I think the next one may be the, the corned beef. Oh, when, is, when is St. Patrick's Day? Let me look that up. St. Patrick's Day is yeah, So that would be the... 17th. So it would be close to the next one. It's Wednesday is when it is. So yeah, then I think the next one is going to be corned beef and cabbage. That's going to be because it's the Sunday before uh, St. Patrick's Day. And I'll figure out how to do that guy on stream. So we'll do those. We'll do it with uh, the potatoes and the carrots and the cabbage. And uh, maybe we'll try and make like an Irish soda bread to go with it. And dessert. Ooh. I have to look that up. Maybe we'll do a cheese dessert. I know it's uncommon, but we'll try and bring back that cheese dessert. Because there's a couple of good Irish cheeses we could do. I don't know. We'll have to do some research. 
I can't do the Baileys though. We're doing. We're trying to go Lent here. We're trying not to uh, indulge in the alcoholic beverages for those forty days. We got twenty-seven days to go. Right there. It's over forty days. I think we got like twenty-seven days to go. Cook it out. <laughs> true. True. We'll do some research. The whiskey bomb. <laughs> oh man, this is smelling so good. Even on low, this guy is just roiling. Woo! Oh yeah. Over the mic. Carrots looking good. The tart's looking doing all right. We'll see. They still gotta taste good, but uh, they look like they're gonna be pretty dang good. Hold on. We're gonna set up. Way harder than it needed to be. Oh, this doesn't work at all either. Chicken and dumpling supplies in the fridge. Awesome. <laughs> Love to see it. Hold on. Let's get a. Uh... Get a normal chair. Hanging out with the normal chair. Boiling away. Boiling away. So if you're just joining us, thanks for hanging out. We we're doing Sunday night dinner. We try and do these uh, every week. This is our third week going here. We're going to keep them going. Uh, just hanging out, having a good time, trying to uh, learn some new recipes, try new things out, and uh, just enjoy the company. Simmertown. Drew, Sarah says hi. Hi. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks good, right? Yeah. You're getting there. Right yeah, about 20 minutes or so. We should be good. Chairs aren't gonna work out. You need to figure out a kitchen chair. Mm. Like one of those high ones or something, you know? Yeah. What about the hot fish? Uh, they have. What? You not hear it? Mm. Can't hear it? I don't know. We haven't had it in a while. I mean, the last time we had, it's probably been four to five years since we've had stuffed cabbage. Yeah. Right? But it worked. It was nice to have that kitchen stool thing in there. Because I have a nice, good, open workspace. I'm pretty happy with this counter. It's got a lot of room. But again, standing on the feet all day. Two to three hours in is uh, too old for this. Too old for this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looking, looking good. Uh, we should probably prep plates. Let's see. I have one for where the dishes are, and it works out really well. But with shoes on, like I have my good shoes on right now because I've been standing in the kitchen, and it's just hardwood floor, so uh, I wear my good shoes in the kitchen for this. So usually where the dishes are, we got that nice thick memory foam style to it.
I'm gonna do a basic plating, uh, probably one to two cabbages per uh, per plates. A couple of different carrots, three to four probably, spaced along there nicely. Uh, could have done bread with it, but we're trying to. Doesn't have to always be carbs all the time, and the rice is in there as well. So, and then plus we got the dessert coming, so that's definitely gonna cook up anything. This guy, this is Le, Le Repertoire de Cuisine. It is, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It is like a guide to classic French cooking, but not a cookbook. Like if they were to, it explains what a dish is or what it has in or how it's how it's cooked, but not actually how to do those things. Like it takes it, you have a basic knowledge of of cooking as it is, but uh, the arrangement is certain things together. Right, well it's not even like that, it's just a very quick description on a lot of this stuff. Like uh, Langtry, L-A-N-G-T-R-Y. Cooked in butter, dress on croutons, place whole tomato poached in oven on the tornados and, and stoned olive, and chervil on tomato. And the prego the sauce. So it, it gives you a quick rundown, but it doesn't explain, like, okay, how all that stuff happened to get there. So it's kind of cool. It's one of the ones that Jacques Pepin uh, recommended to have as you start learning through the cr classic French stuff. Because there's so many different variations that you can never know at all. So if you're reading a recipe, it'll help give you like a quick rundown. I grabbed it. It was like 10 bucks on Amazon just to have. And then we have the standard Master of the Art of French Cooking, Julia Childs. The OG uh, Betty Crocker. Uh, what is this? This is the new one revised because it had the microwave one. What edition was it? I can never remember what edition. This is the seventh printing, 1982. Came out the year after I was born in this printing. This is the OG. If you grew up in my household, that's how you learn to cook right there. <laughs> and there's a couple of things in there that are uh, questionable now at this point. I'm pretty sure there's a cake in here called plantation cake. Um, not okay. Plantation cakes, two five eights. I'm not really sure that this is uh, an ideal thing. Yeah, the Jello molds. But I mean, there's so many good ones, like the strawberry shortcakes, like that biscuit style. Oh, God, it's so good. So so good. I mean, this is good. there's so many good ones in this. Uh, it's why it's a must. Sarah has the OG copy for us. And that's, uh, I got that reprint. I definitely had to have it. Had to be done. What do we look like? Carrots looking good. Slightly crispy. That's what we want. We want a little bit of contrast to it. And this is why I did the roasted carrots. Yeah, the stroganoff. See, okay, now stroganoff is another one that I could do. I mean, things happen. Still works, though. But stroganoff is another one of those things that I could definitely do. Get some fresh steak to do up with it. Uh, could possibly even make the egg noodles if I got ambitious. So that'll be this week's research. Uh, like I said, uh, we're going to probably do corned beef and cabbage next week. And celebrate uh, St. Patrick's Day. We'll look into some d desserts. Probably do a soda bread and something else. And then, uh, but yeah, definitely. That can be on the list a little bit of tomato paste interesting the big thing I've learned that, that threw me off for a while was when people were putting milk in tomato stuff but just at the end it was just enough to like it's crazy and it works like ragus and like even pasta sauces just that tad bit of milk is just Puts it over the edge. But this guy. Oof. I'm going to check our doneness here in just a little bit. Right about 10 minutes we'll pull one of those guys out and see how we're doing. 
Yeah, I mean, you slightly balance that acid, so you bring it, you tone that tomato down a little bit. But it just seems strange to have, like, or we, see, we don't, never, like, we don't call it bolognese either. Like, we don't, I, I don't remember many people making bolognese. We had, like, a basic, like, pasta sauce, but it never had, like, carrots and celery and the other kind of stuff in it. So that's another one I could do. I could do a bolognese. God, it smells good. I am so hungry. I mean, the bolognese is basically, it's a pasta sauce. But instead of it being like an Italian style with like heavy on the basil and stuff, it's more of just like a, it's got like the mise en place with like the carrots and the, the, the celery and the onion. So it's a little more balanced out and it still goes over pasta. It's usually just like a wider, like a really wide fettuccine, uh, like a fresher noodle. Pesto, yes, we could do pesto. We got the food processor now to be able to do that up pretty good. So it could be done. Homemade noodles. I got the roller. I just got to get it down. I, I don't have to practice noodles uh, off stream so that I know I'm comfortable with them. But I do want to get there. Like I said, we're, I'm learning all this new stuff. This this is the nice part because this gives me ambition to, uh, to try new stuff. Uh, to, to push the boundaries. And, I mean, hell, is this how we learn, right? Garlic Tuscan bread, uh, I could do that in the uh, in the in the Dutch oven. I did something about the Dutch oven this time. <laughs> I had thoughts to do these in the in the Dutch oven, but I figured I would show the the clear lid so I could show it be done, and uh, not everything has to be done in a Dutch oven. Though it can be done in a Dutch oven because it's so versatile. But yeah, I had sourdough starter like everybody else at the start of this, and I just need to go back and I think and do it again, and then start making uh, some sourdoughs and some other stuff. Because I got plenty of flour now. I have like 10 pounds, probably 20 pounds of flour right now that I need to get through. Alright, let's see how we're doing. Carrots. Good and crispy. Tarts, I can't really tell, but it's probably gonna have to stay in a little bit longer than our carrot guys. Um, and that's okay. I said so we'll check these cabbage rolls here in just a moment. And make sure that we're good. Want to make sure we're all the way cooked. Um, yet another reason I want the beef and not just the ground beef and pork mix. Because you can go pork with it. You want to go at least 160. I think beef you can get away with like a 155. So it could be a little rare, but I don't think it's going to be. I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> it just smells so dang good. I don't know. What is the difference? <laughs> wow. You have one, two, three, four, five. You have six different kinds of flour in your house. That's insane. That's a lot of flour. I've only got one kind, but I got 20 pounds of it. <laughs> Everything is not the difference, though. It's going to be the same thing come tomorrow. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be so worth it. That's right. I want to get this guy back down because I want to show. So when these guys come out. Yeah, it's quite a bit. <laughs> So when these guys come out, oh, why did it not fit? That one doesn't work. Okay.
You like the music? It's just the light jazz. I like it. It's easier. I don't have to worry about screaming and yelling and weird electro beat drops and other stuff. That's enough to keep the keep it moving, but not be uh, overwhelming. Uh, on the stuffed cabbages? No, we're not topping with anything on these guys. We could. I don't think they're going to need them. I am going to top the apple uh, dessert, though, with that, that, like I said, that instant caramel, or that caramel sauce that I made on our own. I'm going to heat it up a little bit and then drizzle it over when we're ready. And then we've got some fresh scooped uh, vanilla bean ice cream to go with it. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we, I think these carrots are just about done. Let's take these out so you can see them. There's our carrots. Oh. Hear them sizzling away. Check our doneness. Oh yeah, we're good. Nice and roasted. Yeah. Telling you that caramel sauce is gonna be the winner. The winner winner chicken dinner is that caramel sauce. So basically a bit of olive oil, garlic, uh, salt and pepper, and a little bit of balsamic, probably about two tablespoons, just enough. Like I said, they're a little crunchy. They smell good. It'll be a nice compliment to uh, the cabbage. Some people put uh, carrots into their cabbage rolls, but uh, I decided to go against it. And like I said, I wanted to do it as a side anyway. Yeah, they almost come look like a carrot fry. I've considered trying to do the uh, the candied bacon with the carrots. They get the nice wide carrots in the shredder, or the peeler basically, and then do them up that way. Oh yeah, so our, our tart's probably gonna need another 15 minutes or so, I'm guessing. My God, why are they so loud? Just stomping. Can't wait to get out of the apartment lifestyle working on it. Let's go back to our... There we go. Let's see our carrots on there. Let's check. Let's check these guys out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Spoon for this guy. Oh, yeah, we're right about done. Stuffed cabbages. Let's throw a couple of carrots on there. Uh, where do we got? We got a parsley in here. Parsley. Gotta call it a day on that. There we go. Stuffed pepper with the garlic crunchy carrots. And our apple guy should be out here shortly. So I'm gonna start serving up while uh while the getting's hot. Get 
these guys fed, and hopefully about the time I get that done, we should be good on this. Let's fill up just a little. Hey guys, dinner! Come grab a plate. I'll hand them off to you. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What? Bottom is hot. Oh, yeah, be careful, the bottom is hot. <laughs> My bad. Still streaming? Yep. Smells good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Smells really good. Sarah says, hi, Holly. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Oops. Lost some of that stuff in. There you go. <laughs> Hello, kids. Not your most ideal spot. <laughs> Yes, very, very hot. Let it cool. Okay? Woo! Smells so good, though. sauce on top. Oh, yes. Yeah. Look at that steam. Cabbage roll inspo? I don't know. Uh, haven't had them in a while. I do love it. Uh, and the rolling aspect of it, like I said, there's something good to show on stream, I think. I was thinking about the visual side of it for once. I had to, normally I didn't consider the visual part. So now that I'm in a different medium, thought about it a little bit differently. So let's see. Let's get this guy. And we'll use the big knife. Can we get it? Looks so good. Mm. Oh man, it's good. It's real good. Cabbage is nicely done. Inside stuffing is pretty good. It's holding up pretty well. Now with the, the stuffing, oh, crap. Our stuffing was done with the basic rice. Um, two pounds of hamburger, salt and pepper, and some thyme to taste uh, with the garlic and onion. Same thing in the sauce, didn't go anything crazy. A little bit of thyme, salt and pepper, garlic and onion. Uh, and just really let it do the work. I think it was worth it. Mm. Exactly. I mean, if you let the, most of the time we overdo stuff, we just got to let it do its own job, let it work down. And I said, this is the, you can kind of see. So the meat isn't in the sauce, isn't completely absorbed together with the rice. So it just kind of steamed it on the inside. So it holds it on kind of flavored and you get the two mixes as they go. God, that's good though. Let's try them carrots. Mm-hmm. 
So I got carrot fry. It's got a good flavor to it. It's crispy. We get a big steak, almost like a steak fry. Probably could have been a little more crunchy, but that's okay. Great flavor though. Guy is almost done here. We need to get our cooling back out. Because we are going to cool our guy on there. Uh, where's our hot pads? Yeah, you guys are going to get to see this too. Yeah, very similar to like a sweet potato fry, sir. Very, very similar. Really good though. I, I like it. Um, again, it's not as sweet as like, because you know the baby carrots, they've like bred them in there. They're so sweet. It's almost too much. This was nice. It's got that kind of na a natural sweetness to it. All right. Make it good. Oof. There we go. See if we can get a, a board. Can I just get the board on here? Hold on one second. Oop, whoop. Give me my tummy. Really, really good. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh -uh, take this in for me, please. Please and thank you. Nice and yummy. We're gonna drizzle some caramel sauce over top of it. When I'm ready to serve, we're gonna let it cool for a little bit. And then also put a scoop of ice cream on it. Or two. <laughs> or two, <laughs> depending. But yeah, oh, that even smells really, really good too. Yeah, it does. So good. Oh, I'm gonna get it off of there so I can let it cool. Ooh. Sounds flaky. Well, I also put a little bit of the caramel sauce on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so it's going to be crusty in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Back in, oven off. Woo! There we go. Not ready just yet. Got to cool definitely a little bit. But with that, thank you so much, Pecos and Princess. I appreciate it. <laughs> It smells really, really delicious. It really, really does. So we're hoping it's good. Um, let's say we're going to drizzle that caramel sauce that we made with the uh, or the condensed milk, the sweetened condensed milk. And that was on the bottom, so they have a nice caramel down there. We're going to drizzle it across and then throw, like I said, a big old scoop of vanilla bean ice cream or so on the top. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out with me. Uh, it's been a fun Sunday, as always. Um... I'm starving though, so I'm gonna go eat my dinner and hang out with my family. So thank you again for hanging out. I'll see you again next Sunday. I will be here. Uh, like I said, I think we're gonna do corned beef and cabbage, but uh, who knows? We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys so much. Um, appreciate it. Really appreciate you guys hanging out. So have a great night, and uh, we'll see you next time. Oh. oh.